Now I don't know about you, but to me the Warhammer 40,000 universe seems to have a slight fascination with skeletons, skulls, and other bones. I mean, they're literally everywhere. It's almost a problem. So today I thought it might be useful to do a little tutorial on how I paint bones. So, on the off chance that you do find yourself faced with the bones of an enemy or a friend, let's not assume things here, if you do find yourself needing to paint some bones, this is going to be the video for you. Meet Michael, or Mikey Boy to his friends. He enjoys long walks and a good book. However, his day job is to hang out on this pole and scare people. Our job is to make him look beautiful. Lucky for us, it really is quite simple. When painting bone, I always make sure to base coat in quite a dark colour. I specifically use a dark brown, in this case Rhinox Hide. I do this to make all the shadowed areas a nice dark colour that isn't simply black, but instead adds a bit of warmth to those recesses. Once this is dry, I go in with a layer of sandier brown, like Steel Legion Drab. I apply this to all the areas that will be in contact with light. Doing this means that it's just going to be those really deep dark recesses, like the eye holes, that will have the original dark brown which you can already see makes a nice shadow colour. Now that the two dark tones are down, we can move on to the more... bony colours? Starting with the appropriately named Ushabti Bone. A similar cream colour will work just as well. For this, we now want to focus a bit more on the upward facing areas of the skull. If you are in a rush or don't want to put that much effort into the skulls and bones, then you can just dry brush this colour onto the area. I often do this if there are some skulls on bases. Now, in order to make this video a little bit longer, I'm going to shamelessly plug my own Patreon account. If you want to help me buy more models, get early access to videos, and a load behind the scene content, then maybe consider joining my Patreon. You can sign up for as little as £2 or $3 a month. It's also worth noting that I'm not just doing all of my miniature goodness over there, I'm also posting stuff on my illustration work, so you'll be getting two for the price of one. I'd like to thank all of my existing patrons. That little bit that you give each month really makes a big difference and helps to move my career forwards. And for anybody that wants to check out my Patreon and what I may have to offer, I will be leaving a link in the description below. So, thank you! Now back to the bones! One of the final colours we're going to be using is Screaming Skull, yet another really fitting name. You want to apply this again to the more upward facing areas, kind of where you just apply the Ushabti bones, but this time in more select areas making it a more concentrated highlight. If you don't have a lighter cream than the one you just used, if you're not using these specific paints, then add a little bit of white to your previous cream. That will work just as well. Personally, I think this is a good place to stop. But if you want to up that contrast even more, then go ahead and add some really small areas of white. Be careful not to overdo it, because too much can really ruin the effect that we've already built. So, as you can see, the success to painting bone is really quite simple. You just need to do a few layers of dark to really light. That's it for this week's really short video, but I hoped it helped. If you liked this video, please consider giving it a thumbs up and maybe leaving a comment down below on anything that you'd like to see on the channel. And if you want to see more of my videos and the content I'm creating, then make sure to subscribe and join this miniature party. Did I just come up with a new catchphrase? Because that sounded really good. Join the miniature party. Anyway, thank you all for watching. And until next time, I'll see you later.